Welcome to TechWizard with Damar. In this video, we are going to learn how to read the file from blob storage and save the contents of that file into a variable in Azure Data Factory. So there could be tons of scenario that uh, uh, you know you disqualifies for this type of uh, scenario. So uh, if you are ending up in this video, I'm sure you have a very nice scenario. But go ahead and uh, put into comments what scenario you have, why you use in it, and uh, you know that will help other people. Okay, so first of all, what we need, we need a blob storage and we need a file that we would like to read. Then second part, we need a Azure Data Factory and we will be creating a pipeline. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I have this Azure portal and this is my resource group. So in the resource group, as of now, I believe I do not have any storage here. So we are going to go ahead and create the storage. So you will look for a storage account or you type a storage account and that it will show up right there and then you are going to create a storage. So in my case, uh, I'm going to call this storage uh, Tech Brothers Storage, very simple and easy, uh, and uh, we are going to go ahead and create this storage. Now once our storage is created, we are going to create a container in which we will upload a file that we would like to read uh, from the blob storage and uh, uh, put into the variable in Azure Data Factory. Okay, our resource is ready. Let's go to resource and we are going to go to the containers here and I'm going to create a new container called the input container. In the input container, what I want to do, I'm going to upload a file. So I have multiple files sitting on my desktop. The one of them is a very small file. I will go ahead and upload. You can load pretty much big files. I mean, there is a, I was reading all those different type of like what is the limitations and all that on the variable because you need to save this uh, in the variable right so uh, in this case I'm gonna go upload the customer file so if you are saving the contents of this file into variable so you don't want to have like 2 GB file and they just put in the variable that might uh, you know I don't know if that will work so I don't really see a limitation on the variable size but uh, depends you know so you might end up in some scenarios but for small files this is gonna be just fine so now what we need to do, we have the file and everything. And the second part, what we need, we need Azure Data Factory. So there is my Azure Data Factory. I'm going to go to the uh, resource group and show you guys my Azure Data Factory, Tech Browser ADF. And we are going to open the Azure Data Factory. Now, one thing we would like to do, we would like to provide uh, this uh, Azure Data Factory permission on that blob storage. So what we are going to do here, we are going to go to the our blob storage. And in the blob storage, we are going to the access control right here and uh, then uh, click on add role assignment and here what you will be doing you will be going to the members here and uh, let's uh, first of all let's uh, actually select the role so i will say blob once i do blob i can uh, do uh, give a different type of permission so in this case uh, maybe a story blob data contributor is fine because i want to delete files read files or all that so i'm going to go ahead and do that but you can always give a storage blob data reader okay so that's fine i'm going to select that once i select that i'm going to hit next then it is asking members remember that we would like our azure data factory to access this file so we are going to go to manage identity and here we are going to select members now in the subscription uh, then you have a manage identity and it show you all those uh, uh, different resources uh, here uh, data factories right so in the data factory i have only one data factory so i'm going to go ahead and choose it and then select uh, now you can see that uh, this is uh, the name object id type and all that now that's uh, good and what we will do we will uh, uh, go to next and uh, there is nothing whole lot you are going to do a uh, next 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 uh, or simply uh, you know create it uh, so our Azure Data Factory has a permission on this blob storage now. If you guys want to see that more role assignments, so you can see right there, uh, Tech Brothers ADF and uh, the role it is assigned is storage blob data contributor. So this source. Now we are all good here and what we are going to do, we are going to go back to the Azure Data Factory and create a pipeline. In the pipeline, we will be using the web activity. New pipeline and web activity. Okay. In the web activity, what I need, I need some information. So I'm going to go to settings here. I am leaving everything is all right here. I don't need to make change here. I'm going to go to settings and here I have to provide the URL. So in the URL, what I have to do, I have to prepare my URL in this format. So HTTP, my storage account, then blob.core.windows.net. That will stay as it is, this part as it is, and then container name and file name. So here, let's make a copy of this. I will put in the description for you guys so you can just make a copy. Okay, 
Now, first of all, we need our blob and storage account. So that's our account. If you guys remember that we have created the tech browser storage, that's our account name. And I'm going to go back here and just change that part. Paste it right there. And now what I have to do, I have container name. And if you guys remember, I have input container and our file name was a customer.txt. Okay, so that's uh, completed. Now I'm going to copy and provide this in the URL. So go to Azure Data Factory again and they go to the URL, web activity, right? And paste it there. Now second part, what you would like to do, what method you would like to use. So you're gonna get, because we want to get the contents of that file. And then we have to provide some headers. Honestly, if you ask me uh, why I'm providing these uh, two headers there, uh, I am 100% uh, not sure. <laughs> so maybe you wanna do for the study, but I found this one on some internet, uh, like, oh, you have to provide these the two type of header if you wanna read the blob type. So that's all right, you can just copy and paste. If you don't paste uh, there, uh, you're gonna end up uh, getting some errors. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, that's a version. You know, if somebody knows that, why the, this version is equal to 2017, maybe that's the Microsoft version, right? Uh, that they have created in 2017 and all that. So, but uh, why not the latest version? So I have no idea. Anyways, so I don't know about that. Just uh, live with it and, uh, you know, if you, uh, are gonna hate me for that, it's okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, so you copy these, and but we know that this is blob, uh, block blob, so we understand that part. So you are gonna provide that values there in the header, and uh, I believe that's the get method, use these values to get the file, okay? So, but anyways, uh, you guys probably are smarter than me and uh, know more about these all different technologies. So that's good, now what we have here, uh, uh, next part, what we are gonna do, we are going to use uh, authentication. Remember that we did manage identity and that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go right down and uh, click right there. And here we have different uh, uh, options. So if you, um, I do scroll, it's called manage identity. That's what I'm gonna select in the authentication. So once I select that, it uh, selected and uh, now it is asking me resource. In the resource, if you guys remember that, this is our story.azure.com, right? So I'm gonna copy this the URL, just paste it there. So, all done. So this is all you need. Now what we can do, we can go ahead and debug. Okay, this got completed successfully. We are gonna hit on output. And you can see that this is the ID name. These are the column names. Then if you have a, a backslash R backslash uh, N, that means a new row. So then you have a first row right there, uh, 10 Raza, this, and then you have another row starting with the 12 ID, this guy. So, so this is all the values in the response. Okay, that's great. So you see right there, that's actually, I'm talking about them. So this uh, web activity actually, this uh, when uh, uh, it send that uh, information, that's where it use all those different type of things, uh, such as uh, blobs type this, you know, and uh, MS version this, you know, and the creation time is, uh, I don't know why it is, uh, so this is November, so this is just a current time, and uh, unlocked and all that. So anyways, uh, now you know that where this is coming from, so this uh, two information was important to provide that, okay, MS version, and the type of the blob we are getting. Okay, so that's cool, we close this one, now we have uh, the values in the response, and we can uh, use them. now. Go to container here, I just want to show you the file. Go to input and here click on the customer.txt. So at least you see what we have. We have ID, name, file name, that's the first header. And uh, actually that is the only header. And then you have the rows. So this is my second row. This is my, sorry, second row, yes. But, you know, but this is the actual first row in the data. And this is my second row for the data. And the first one was the header. So this is what we are getting in our response. So, Okay, so let's go back to Azure Data Factory again. Now, what we need to do, we need to create our variable. Okay, so I'm gonna go click on this canvas here, right there, and then go to the variables, and then create, and I'm going to call it a file content. Okay, that's my uh, name of the variable, it's going to be string type. Now, how I save the values, uh, I'm going to get the set va variable va uh, activity here, and now I'm gonna connect my web one to set variable, click right there, Go to variables and here select the name of the variable. Once you select that, this uh, uh, box will appear for the value and it will ask you, hey, how you wanna write the values? So we are gonna go to add dynamic contents 
and select our web one dot output right so if you remember that uh, we had the response right so that's what output dot response that's what we would like to save into the variable because other values we don't care now click right there on the white spot right there and then go to output and that's where I was showing you see right there that's what we want to get response so from the output want to get the response we don't want to get uh, ADF uh, web activity res response headers and all that we don't or we don't want to get the effective run times so this all information we don't care we are only carrying output dot response that's what I saved into the variable okay now let's go ahead and debug so web activity is going to read the file from the uh, our blob storage and then uh, uh, there it will be having that uh, output dot response and that will be saved into the our variable both got completed successfully let's go to the web we see the response right there these are the two uh, with the header there are two rows for the data okay so now we go right there so you can see that variable name file content and uh, see ID name file name then you have a next row and that's your next row and then you have another next row with the value 12 and all that so this is input output you know so looks good so you can use uh, the file content variable wherever you want maybe in sending some emails and maybe send using the azure function maybe uh, just want to write the value of this variable into some azure table and all that you can do that all right thank you very much for watching this video i hope uh, you like the video and please go ahead and subscribe my channel i will put all these uh, uh, links in the description so it will be easy to copy paste and make changes. All right. Thank you very much. And I will see you guys in the next video.